President Cyril Ramaphosa is once again implicated in a tender for power scandal. While South Africans are fixated on the so-called Government of National Unity new cabinet appointment. Government has closed a three-year deal with telecoms giant MTN which will see about 257 municipalities digitized through the implementation of smart electricity and water technology across the country. It is reported that MTN Business has been awarded a contact to roll out smart electricity and water technology. Ramaphosa is said to be in the forefront of this deal. Municipalities believe this new tender is designed to take power from the municipalities and hand it to big business. It is still not clear how much MTN would pocket from the deal. The contract is said to be designed to enhance the digitization through the implementation of smart electricity and water technology across South Africa's 257 municipalities. The RT29 transversal contract, awarded by National Treasury, will see MTN supply, install, manage and maintain smart metering programs across the country. The project is said to be severely imposed on municipalities. Ramaphosa spokesperson Vincent Maguenia has denied that Ramaphosa was linked to the MTN deal. Other than the obvious legal and logical fact that the president cannot and does not have any operational involvement at MTN. Such a process will not work under the Municipal Finance Management Act MFMA, Magwenya explained. Even though, the president's spokesperson acknowledged that Ramaphosa did have interest in telecoms. He was no longer part of it. Historically, he was involved in the industry, which is a well-known public fact. However, Ramaphosa's family, through Shanduka, had interests in the telecoms sector in South Africa and Nigeria. It also held a 32.7% interest in a cell phone tower building operation in Nigeria Helios Towers and 12.5% in SECOM, which constructs undersea cables. Furthermore, he was also a chairperson of MTN Group, the majority owner of the Nigerian operation. His business entity Shanduka also purchased shares in MTN Nigeria. According to the telecoms giant, this would bring value and impact to municipalities as well as unlocking the benefits of a modern connected life for households and businesses. The company further said its initiative would bring various benefits to different stakeholders within the supply chain and enhancing efficiency, accuracy and security, while providing better data access for managing electricity usage which would lead to more accurate billing, improved outage restoration and power quality data. The integration of smart electricity and water technology across these municipalities will further solidify financial sustainability for municipalities by eliminating bypasses and ghost vending to ensure transparent and financially viable utility management. The Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs COCTA referred all questions to the Treasury, which did not respond by deadline. Attempts to get MTN CEO Charles Malapisai and company executives called Kyle Nemes were unsuccessful at the time of print. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.